Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared plus 1 whole squared divided by x times x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 9 over 2. Our job is to find all possible values of a. So, let us start. We use cross multiplication, we multiply this 9 by this expression and we multiply this 2 by this expression. So, this will become 2 times x squared plus 1 is equal to 9x times x plus 1 whole squared. Next, 2 times x squared plus 1 is equal to, by using this algebraic identity, a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This will become 9x times x squared plus 1 plus 2 times x. Now, we suppose that x squared plus 1 is equal to y. Let x squared plus 1 is equal to y. So, this equation will become 2y squared is equal to 9 times x times y plus 2 times x. Next, 2y squared is equal to 9x times y will become 9xy and 9x times 2x will become plus 18x squared. We move these two terms to the left hand side, this will become 2y squared minus 9xy minus 18x squared is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this 2y squared, 2y squared and we split this negative 9xy as negative 12 times xy plus 3 times xy minus 18x squared is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out 2y in bracket left uh, y minus 6x. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus uh, 3x. In bracket left uh, y minus 6x is equal to 0. As you can see, this expression y minus 6x is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, y minus 6 times x and uh, in bracket left uh, this 2 times y and this 3x. In bracket left uh, 2y plus uh, 3x is equal to 0 and from here either this expression y minus 6 times x is equal to 0 or this expression 2y plus uh, 3 times x is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of y is equal to 6 times x and uh, from this equation, we get the value of y is equal to negative 3 times x divided by 2. Now, recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to y. So, when y is equal to 6 times x, then this equation will become x squared plus 1 is equal to 6 times x. Move this 6x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 6 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so I solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 6 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 6 squared minus 
4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative times negative 6, it becomes 6 plus minus square root of this negative 6 squared will become 36 minus 4 times 1 times 1, 4 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. Next, x is equal to 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus 4 will become 32 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to 6 plus minus this uh, square root of 32 can be written as a uh, square root of uh, 16 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 x x is equal to 6 plus minus the square root of 16 is 4 times root 2 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in back left 3 plus minus 2 times root 2 divided by 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x x1 is equal to 3 plus 2 times root 2 and x2 is equal to 3 minus 2 times root 2. Now, when y is equal to negative 3x over 2 then this equation will become x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 3 times x over 2. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, this implies that uh, 2 times uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 3x and 2 times x squared will become 2x squared. 2 times 1 plus 2 is equal to negative 3 times x. Move this negative 3x to the left hand side, this will become 2x squared plus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 3 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 3 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 2. Next, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of this 3 squared will become 9 minus 4 times 2 times 2, 16 divided by 2 times 2. 4. Next, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of this 9 minus 16 will become negative 7 divided by 4. Next, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus this square root of negative 7 can be written as a root negative 1 times root 7 divided by 4 and x is equal to negative 3 plus minus root negative 1 will become i times root 7 divided by 4 and from here we get the other two values of x x 3 is equal to negative 3 plus i times uh, root 7 divided by 4 and uh, x4 is equal to negative 3 minus i times uh, root 7 divided by 4. So, these are the four solutions of this equation 3 plus 2 times root 2, 3 minus 2 times root 2 and negative 3 plus i times root 7 over 4 
and negative 3 minus i times root 7 over 4. 